Hi, welcome to Paint and Purple Life. My name's Jo and today I am reviewing Apple Brandy New York by Killian. Killian is a Hennessy um, and Hennessy make cognac, good cognac, brandy as I would call it. And I enjoy brandy, it's one of my preferred tipples. So this was an interesting fragrance for me to try. The first time I tried apple brandy was at my uncle's house. I'll never forget it, I was quite young. My mum wasn't that young. <laughs> 2013 release and the nose is Sidonie Le Censeur. Sidonie has done many fragrances for by Killian including Black Phantom and also including um, Vodka on the Rocks which I have. Apple Brandy New York is a boutique exclusive so if you're in London where I am don't expect to see it in Harrods you'll need to head to Burlington Arcade their boutique um, or pick it up. In the heart of a dense forest the thick smokiness of scented wood is reminiscent of oak barrels that keep delicate distilled cognac from spoil. A, a deepening amber coloured liquid matures day by day. A heady combination of rum and manzanite entices the senses at the opening. Apple brandy is the liqueur of the woods. One might imagine tapping from enchanted trees in myth-based lore one of Killian's most personal creations, the syrup-laden smell of alcohol is a fond childhood memory, perfectly recreated with vanilla and labdomen, punctuating the distinctive personality of the race. If I had to describe Apple Brandy New York in three words, I would say sweet, boozy, and woody. The opening is apple brandy. The apple element is sweet, not overly sweet. The brandy element is a little bit harsh. It's not as smooth as an EXO brandy. It's a bit of a lesser quality brandy. But as the time proceeds, you'll find that the brandy, the boozy element on the skin, mellows. And so you kind of get this journey where you're starting off with the apple, the alcohol is a little bit harsh, and then as it mellows and the apple kind of intertwines with it, and you get the woods coming up very gently. So it does smell like apple brandy and it kind of goes through this phase on your skin where it kind of matures um, which I really enjoy and kind of gets to a point where where the apple is kind of subsiding and it's becoming a warm sweet kind of caramel-esque note and you've still got this brandy that's better quality brandy than you had at the opening um, with the woods coming through. Cognac has a very specific smell um, and I really recognise it from this fragrance and on the skin. From hour four onwards, I get an occasional bit of smokiness come through. Not make me asthmatic smoky, but just a little bit, it's a little bit drier um, than the apple and the caramel that have preceded it and, and the woods. It's like a dry element. I don't know if it's a dry wood or a smoke, but I definitely get something like that. And again, we kind of get this intermingling of you know, a hint of dryness, you know, the caramel is subsiding and fading and we've got the woods coming to the fore. So I get a good six, seven hours solid on the skin and then it starts to fade and it definitely becomes a skin scent at that point. It's a very cosy, enveloping, kind of warm fragrance and I really like to wear it in cooler weather. I really like the whole process from the opening, which is kind of brash compared to the smoothness and I want to say like maturity um, of the finish. It's just... It's, it's interesting on the skin. This may seem strange, but Apple Brandy New York is a fragrance that I sometimes layer. I layer fragrances because I enjoy that combination and creating something that's bespoke. Conceptually, it was one that I thought would work, and when I tried it on the skin, it's one that really works. So I blend uh, Apple Brandy New York with Laurier d'une soir. So this is a pear fragrance from Miller Harris, but it's more than pear, it's like caramelized pear, in kind of rum and a really good quality kind of sugar with a hint of vanilla. It's it's a really nice fragrance. The benefit of blending these two is that you really amplify the um, orchard fruits, so that kind of apple pear fruity freshness, but it's not overly sweet in either fragrance. And it's quite a distinct fruitiness from say, raspberry or cherry or kind of berries generally. The kind of orchid fruit fruitiness I find quite fresh and quite light. Apples and pears I think are a great combo. And what you have here with this fragrance is a bit of booze, a bit of syrup, a bit of rum, a bit of apple, a bit of pear, and some woods to really base it. And so it becomes a different, animal but it's related to the two that it 
was created from and it's a really lovely fragrance it's a really great combo it's very cozy it's very um gourmand without being overly sweet um and it's very individual you kind of smell interesting people really enjoy wearing these two together and i think it's a great <laughs> is the brand new new york full bottle worthy hell yes i really enjoy this fragrance it's interesting for me it's familiar it's reminiscent it's exciting i look forward to wearing it it's expensive but i would save up my shekels to buy this fragrance because i like it um, of the few scents from by killian that i know this is one that i feel that i would wear and enjoy on a regular basis and not feel like i needed to keep it for best or not feel like i needed to understand the concept behind it this one for me is very readily accessible it's a definite yes from me so that was my review on Apple Brandy New York by Killian. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I'm a Philistine for layering Killian fragrances with Miller Harris, uh, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.